This is Coach Lee, and I'm going to answer the question, do feelings fade during no contact? First of all, what most people need to realize in your situation is that if your ex has broken up with you, then feelings have already faded. Things are already not where you want them to be. Your ex is mind, your ex is heart. Those things are not where you want them to be. And so fearing that feelings will fade further is really out of place simply because they're already very low or else your ex would not have done this. If things were moderately high, your ex would have probably tried to push through, tried to figure things out, tried to work things out with the relationship. So worrying that things could go down even more is actually not something that you should be worried about simply because there's not much room for it to go lower. Really, the only direction things can go if you stay away is up. And the biggest reason for that is because if your ex is broken up with you, attraction has fallen. And yes, for those of you in long distance relationships, a lot of times someone will cite the distance. I just can't do the distance anymore. Well, the distance didn't change. What changed? Why is it that all of a sudden your ex can't handle the distance anymore? It's because attraction fell because they have been perfectly willing to travel long distances to see you. It's been worth it. And it's been worth it to meet you places and handle the distance. What changed if the distance didn't change? Their motive changed. And you can substitute the word motive for attraction. And though I was talking about long distance there, that applies to most things. Whatever reason your ex has provided, especially if it's something that's been there a while, if attraction were high enough, your ex would find a way. It would not matter much to your ex. They would think of it as a privilege to do this thing or to put up with this if they got to be with you. But when attraction falls, then those things become more inconvenient, more of a struggle. They matter more, they hurt more. And so that's when your ex can finally reach that point where it's low enough and they say, I want to break up with you. So if you're worried that no contact could make feelings fade, just know that most of the time it's the opposite. Most of the time, no contact is what causes them to actually see that they could lose you. They see your strength, which is attractive and that you are strong enough to stay away. But also the fact you're strong enough to stay away shows them they could lose you which is what your ex has to see because a breakup is the ultimate of taking someone for granted. When you can walk away from someone, it shows that you are not concerned or worried about losing them. And so when I talk about no contact and how that can show your ex that they could lose you, a lot of people will say, why would they care? Well, again, what I mentioned at the start of this video is that at the moment, it really doesn't matter. There's not going to be a drop off. Your ex doesn't care if he or she loses you in this moment, mostly because they haven't had to face it. When someone breaks up with you, it's their choice. It's their decision. So they're in control. When you're in control, you don't lose things. You don't sense loss. When things are taken out of your control, that's when you have loss. Losing a loved one, losing a job, losing a spouse, losing a boyfriend or girlfriend who breaks up with you. That's when you realize you're not in control you feel the loss. But when it's your decision, you don't feel the loss. You are choosing to walk away from this person. You're not losing them. Breaking up with you is not losing you. And so, yes, at the moment, theoretically, based on a concept in the mind of your ex, there's not concern for losing you because mostly they are not facing it. It's when the tables flip and you are in control. You're making your own decisions. You are choosing not to contact them. You're choosing not to pursue, not to beg, not to try to fix what they broke. That's when the potential exists that your ex can feel the loss. But it requires, first of all, that you're not contacting, that you're not there, that they have to wonder about you. I have a video called Stages Your Ex Goes Through During No Contact that I'll link to in the description below, as well as the end screen at the end of this video. And you can watch that to learn about the stages that your ex goes through as far as their thought processes. But basically they start off in the sense of accomplishment and freedom and relief that they've gotten the breakup over with, because it's not something people want to do. Nobody says I'm looking so forward to breaking up with this person, unless this person has just been awful to you. And then that could make some sense if you want to get even with them. But if this person cares about you and you know it, and you know, this is going to hurt them, 
then it's not something you're looking forward to doing. You're looking forward maybe to when it's over with. And so that's what they're feeling is this relief. And so they have to go through some processes to get to a point where they actually realize you are staying away and that that shows strength and that you could not be gotten back at some point. Because at the moment, it is just a concept. Your ex assumes since they broke up with you, since they made the decision and you wanted to stay with them, that it will basically always be that way. Though your ex wouldn't put it into those words, that's what they feel. And so they assume, at least emotionally, assume that they could get you back whenever they wanted you back, if they ever wanted you back. And so since they don't want you back at the moment, and since they were in control, they were the ones who broke up with you, then that's why it makes sense to say, well, they don't care if they lose you because at the moment, your ex is pretty sure they want something else. That's where time can be so powerful, where you stay away day after day, night after night, minute after minute, and your ex has to come to terms with that. Now, it's not 100% that every time your ex will decide they'd rather be with you. I can't speak for every detail. I don't know the details of your relationship. I don't know what your ex is going to see in that relationship when they look back. If you were a good girlfriend, if you were a good boyfriend, and that you did not expect to be worshipped, and you did not worship, but it was equal, you both were helping each other to feel wanted, desired, needed, and were an equal partner, then it was probably a good relationship. And that's where, when your ex looks back on it, that's something they can see. If it was a bad relationship, and there are all kinds of reasons that it could be bad, but if it was truly bad, then your ex would look back and see that as well, and they may not want to. But if the relationship that you had with your ex was a good relationship, then at least the potential exists when you stay away and they realize they could lose you, that they could want this back. Before I mention reason number two, Get more information on my emergency breakup kit in the link in the description below. It's a powerful guide to help you get your ex back. Here's reason number two that feelings don't fade because of no contact. And reason number two is that at this moment, at least the moment of the breakup, you are your least attractive because whatever has been going on has caused attraction to fall in terms of what your ex feels for you. And the process of them breaking up with you actually lowers your attraction in their mind and it raises theirs. And so you're interacting with them during that time. You are putting your worst foot forward. Even if it's circumstantial, even if things will change at that moment, backing off actually is what gives you the best chance of your attraction level going up. Even if it means your ex simply doesn't know what's going on with you, it's still better than presenting your least attractive self, which is the state that you are in if they just broke up with you, because that is the main reason that your ex broke up with you. And so you can be assured that your level of attractiveness is actually at its lowest point right now. So you don't want to put yourself into the game right now. You want to leave with your ex the memories they have of you when you were in a more attractive state. And that's where they can at least wonder if you're returning to that, or they can think, what have I done by giving this up? Have I lost it forever? Because this person's not reaching out. They're not talking to me about this, not trying to get me back. Does that mean that I could lose them or that I have already? That's what we want your ex to experience and feel and think. And so you would make things worse by inserting yourself into the situation, by trying to show them that you would still be there and that you're making an effort to get things back to how they were, that you're making an effort to get them back. It actually puts a very unattractive version of you in front of them as bait, which is the last form of bait you want to use. So staying back allows them to remember you when you were in a more attractive state in the past and to wonder about you, all things that can help with attraction. And I talk about that in the video I mentioned stages your ex goes through, but that's where you can actually recover some of your attractiveness. Before I go on to the third reason why feelings don't fade during no contact, take a quick second and click the subscribe button below so you can be notified when I have more videos like this. So reason number three, that feelings don't fade during no contact, is that your feelings were not based on contact. If they were based on contact, we would fall in love with the person we're around the most. No matter how attractive they were to us, that would actually be something that would build simply by us being in contact and being around them. The feelings felt during a relationship are based on intimacy, 
commitment, and companionship. And yes, those things can be increased when you are around someone, but only when you are in a relationship with them where they want to be with you in a relationship. When someone does not want to be in a relationship with you, contact with them actually decreases their desire to have companionship, commitment, and intimacy with you. And so you actually make things worse in this situation with contact. Your relationship when you were together was based on who that person was and who you two were together as a couple. But since you're not together as a couple anymore, you would be interacting as a non-couple. And you would basically, as I've already said, be putting your least attractive foot forward and around them. And so it would be hurting attraction. Contact would be hurting attraction. It would be showing them that you are still interested even though they are not, which lowers your attraction as well. And it shows them that if they ever did decide that they wanted to get back together with you, that it would be easy to get you back so there's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to have them make a decision about. They can just relax and figure that if they ever do want you back, you would be willing and ready to get back together, which basically does not put you in a position of strength where they would admire you, where they would think of you as someone who has options. They would simply see you as one of their options if they ever wanted you, which is not attractive. Get more information on my emergency breakup kit. It's a powerful guide to help you get your ex back. This has been Coach Lee, and as always, thank you for watching.